Guys, after months of umming and ahhing, I finally started therapy. Oh, wow. How's it going? It's going really well, you know. I always knew I wanted to speak to a therapist, but I was always really apprehensive about starting. Why were you so apprehensive? I don't know. It was just something about the fact that I was going to have to bring a stranger up to speed on the last 27 years of my life. But at the same time, I knew I needed to speak to someone because I'd gotten to that point where I was just like, listen, this is who I am. Take it or leave it. I'm a people pleaser. I can't change it. That's what you get. But yeah, nah. I'm speaking to a therapist now. (laughs) Yeah, I feel like that's a common misconception that basically learned behavior can't be unlearned. But I'm happy that you're speaking to a qualified uh, professional about this. So how did you go about finding a therapist? So I found a therapist through our paid partner, BetterHelp. BetterHelp matches you to a credentialed therapist, usually within 48 hours after you filled out a detailed questionnaire about yourself. And in this questionnaire, you can answer questions like, what you're hoping to achieve through therapy, what you're looking for from a therapist. And in my case, um, I answered that. I didn't have any specific goals, but in terms of the therapist I wanted, initially I thought I wanted a woman who was Black and also a Christian. Oh, okay. So you can actually specify what cultural background, gender and faith you want your therapist to be. Yeah. So BetterHelp recognizes that a large part of who we are is down to our upbringing, our faith, and all those sorts of things. So sometimes having somebody who can relate to you on those things is like super helpful and can be very powerful. So you can even specify that you want um, therapists with certain specialities. So like if that's grief or family conflict, etc. Okay, so I didn't realize that it was actually that granular. So how did it go with this woman then? It went really well, actually. So my first session, the lady I spoke to, she was so lovely. And she helped me identify like what my goals needed to be. And so then after that first session, I realized that I actually needed somebody else with a certain speciality. And so then I changed therapist. But this time around, I was trying to keep an open mind. So I removed the black filter. Um, And so then I read through different people's kind of um, profiles and stuff. And then I came to this lady who isn't actually black. She's Hispanic. Love her. She's so great. And yeah, it's been like four weeks now. And I'm starting to understand a lot about myself and like who I am and like why I act the way I act. Um, honestly, I just wish I started earlier. Okay, that's really good. I'm so excited to start my journey with BetterHelp. And the good thing about BetterHelp is that you can do it from your phone or your laptop, whichever way it makes you feel comfortable. You can do a phone call, messaging, video chat. It's really all about how comfortable you feel. And starting therapy is easy with BetterHelp. So if you feel like you will benefit from a therapy, make sure you guys head on over to better.help.com slash uncut pod or search the uncut podcast during sign up and you will be able to receive a special discount off of your first month of therapy. So ja. Mm. Mm. Police man. Mm. Many, 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 many. <laughs> Hello, gosh. Greetings, everybody. Anyone you want, yes, sir. take it. Whatever time of day. Bonjour. Hola. Hola. Ciao. Ciao. What Como else está? Is there? Como estás? Huh? That's Spanish. How are you? Yeah. Hola. Yeah. Have we said hola? Oh. Yeah, I said hola. I don't know. How do you no, say it? I didn't it? do a language. Guten that, tag. I, how do you say it in tag. German? Ah, yeah, I don't know. Ah, Yo. Anyway. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode 199. Hey. Damn. Wow. Damn. That's crazy. Damn. That's why I had to give you a little bit of soja. Oh, mm. God. For this man. Mm. Many, 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 many. Mm. In my convo. Oh, my God, sorry, damn. sorry. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Go on, go on. <laughs> I'm sure you already know our names, but if you don't, I'm Tammy. I'm Sharon. And I'm Beatrice. And welcome back to another episode of the Uncut Podcast. Woo! Hope everyone's doing well. Yeah. Everyone's good. Yes, yes. Hope you guys enjoyed the last episode. Yes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Yeah. What was the last episode? Yeah, it's been... <laughs> It's been a while since yeah. I've stepped into this studio. Yeah. yeah, we took a bit of a break. Exactly. Um, we needed Just to... one week, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it was one week. Um, but it was actually quite nice yeah. like, to have a bit of a break. 
Yeah. But haha, when you don't record, you don't get paid. <laughs> <laughs> and the accounts are the reflecting accounts, that. Hey. So we are so down. <laughs> Policeman, <laughs> many, 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 oh, many, many. We are back, hey. reporting for duty. Yes. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Attention. You know, I'm not serious <laughs> at all, man. That's I'm so, so, so done. Oh. What did you guys get up to in your break? Well, mm. for people that didn't know what we get up to, maybe you should add, add yes. us on Snapchat. Yeah, add us on Snapchat. And you will see yep. what we get, what we had gotten up to yeah. yep, in our break. Yeah. yeah, subtle plug. Mm-hmm. Yes, but um, what did I do? Oh, but we saw each other quite in the break. Yeah, yeah we did. We had a we went to a wedding. Yes, yes. congratulations to Bissy and Gray. Yeah, oh, Bissy from the SB Life. Yeah, yes. from SB Life. He got married. Yeah. Um, my mum said that she has never seen a groom dance like that. No, before. honestly, Bissy, I was literally like, he danced like David, but with his clothes on. Nah, facts. Literally, the he way was dancing. Bissy dan- like, I don't think that one is. <laughs> You know, there's some people that are not proud to get married. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You had to drag them ah, out of the house. Them. They're, 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 they're tell them to smile. Yeah. 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 They're not, the shoe is not even matching. The yeah. shoe yeah. is not done. The, not the suit getting, is looking so... Do you understand? Yeah. The shoe even has lace. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, nah. That that main character. Pra- I love it. Nah. Proud of the wedding. Proud of the Yeah, yeah. Proud of everything. Like, the way he was dancing. What? Because you already know that BC could dance. Because you don't know they have this culture FM. Yeah. there's one clip of BC from culture (laughs) FM. That one is the funniest clip. That clip is jokes. That clip is jokes. That clip is so funny. So, he showed us those moves and more. And yep. more literally, yeah, literally. What? There was one video I have of him like Using the cane as like a gun Yeah, 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 yeah. All, As a guitar as well <laughs> No, yeah, that was really fun actually yeah. And do you know what? Like I absolutely love it When we get an opportunity to all wear trad Like I don't oh, want to sound like one of those diaspora who's all, babes Who's all we? Like as in like You mean us three or mean everyone? Like just like, everyone just Everyone Because oh, okay. like, like, obviously we wear trad when we go to weddings anyway yeah. But like I just mean like I enjoy it because obviously our parents' generation like they would wear trad like a bit more often like even to church or yeah. like um like my dad wore trad yesterday we just went to somebody's house yeah exactly. yeah man yeah. like it's just a thing like and yeah. in Nigeria obviously that's a thing as well yeah, like most yes. people we wear, wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah they wear it to work but I don't know there's just something about like obviously we love our culture and so for me when I got there and everyone was pretty much everyone was wearing trad I was just mm, like this yeah. is just such a I just love mm, it I yeah. love like when but some guys I feel like guys have actually started to wear trad a bit more. Oh, I have outside I, of yeah, weddings. I've, yeah, I've noticed it. They're starting to wear more a bit more outside. <laughs> yeah. In this UK. Yeah, I have a few. Where? A few Where older guys. Um, uh, no, that, like that, 40. That's the key. That's the key. A few, that older, guys, yeah. a few yeah. older guys. A few older guys. Yeah, but okay, if we're talking about that, then I've been seeing. Yeah, I've been seeing. I know. Seen I know. We're talking about 20 something. No, but like, for example, in a formal setting, it's like, let's say some people would just go and wear like a suit. I feel like some guys are now more leaning into actually wearing a trad, like a formal trad in like, those sort of occasions, I've noticed it anyway like myself. Where? Like, for example, apart like, from a wedding. No, not apart from wedding. Like, for example, like, oh, what was it? It was um a part. It was like a birthday, a birthday occasion. Which I know, okay. like, you would say that yeah, you could wear trad, but most people wouldn't opt for it yeah, for the first what, thing. But what now, birthday? Yeah. what age? Like someone's friend's birthday, like, and even their child, like a child's first birthday. I saw a couple oh, of guys okay. wear trads. Like, okay. I've been seeing people basically wear trads. That's in good. A bit let's, more, keep let's, let's keep it up. Formal settings. Yeah, man. Let's keep let's it keep up. Yeah. Because yeah. you can just you can it can be it can be formal, but also it can also be relaxed as well, yeah, depending yeah, on how yeah. you style yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. guys yeah. especially. Yeah. Yeah. Since yeah. I were talking about trad, I have an unpopular opinion. I oh, don't know God. whether it's sorry. Do you... we know? Do people know what trad is? Traditional wedding. That's what, what it is. We're talking about our, our traditional clothing. clothing, but just for people who aren't like African oh, or whatever. Okay. Like, yeah, we're talking about like the traditional wear that we yeah. wear in our but countries. Sometimes because it's how do I explain it? Because sometimes we'd call the a, wedding, a wedding a trad, trad mm. yeah. but then we'd say you're wearing yeah. trad. In yeah. context, just you'll get it can it can mean either. Yeah, yeah. Mm. My unpe- unpopular. Opinion. It's not unpopular. Okay, it's popular. Oh, it's I know what opinion. you're gonna say, and I agree. Men. Oh, I don't want to see that. Men that are wearing trad, please. And I'm I think afraid. this is this is for UK. I don't know where else they maybe but the one I see is in mm. yeah, Asia. Yeah, yeah. Please, let's stop wearing trainers oh. We've tried Please don't do that Please don't do that Please. I saw someone wearing Yeezys Oh gosh Yeah, the Yeezys was insane the Yeezys, thing is, though, three, some... 350 Yeah, 350s are insane too. Was it even 350? I think it was five 
It wasn't it wasn't deep. five. It wasn't five. I've anything. got five. I have five. 30, it was. Five, 30, what, what yeah. Is it? I have the five something. It oh, it was wasn't the, that. It was three fifties. Was, yeah, it wasn't three fifties. It was three fifties. Stop. It wasn't three fifties. Let me Try remind myself it wasn't of what it was. I had to Google. Three fifties are the ones. Three fifties are low. The one that you're talking about has is bulky. Like no, Beatrice. Wait, I, 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 had had to to it. I had to Google it whilst yeah. I was there to confirm. No, no, no. I said, I said, was it actually 350s? Yes. It was 350s. Yes. Yeah, let, me yeah, yeah. let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, I didn't know they wore that one. Okay, the one that I, okay, maybe you're I talking about five hundred. You're talking about you have, five hundred. Right? Yeah, the ones I have. Yeah, I've, I seen, have, I've, seen, someone, have yeah. seen someone wear that. Maybe they were talking about different even things. Even still, we even don't wear that. Either. Wear that. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. Wear yeah. Any use. What about? Okay, I, I don't like it, but I think like the only one that's Air I Force, can kind don't of, tell me McQueen. I was gonna say Air Force McQueen's in a way, man. but not. It depends. No. It depends. No, because, I don't like no. it. I don't think it's a go-to, but I feel like- I don't any, like it, but if you had, if to, you wear had trainer, to wear a trainer, let them be I would say brand let them be, spanking you. Yeah, Air let them Force be One's clean white. white. Like, don't be yeah. anything else. But That's, even then, please, just wear formal shoes. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't understand. understand. Like, or even sandals. Well, sandals. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, that's the thing. When we, oh, if you have to, please, you don't have to. You, there, there's no- there, I don't I, know. Some people might be really self-conscious about their feet. So yeah, they'll now go and wear one chunky trainer. I'm just saying. has a thing about feet. And no, I, I'm not. No, but I'm because not even she talking about. Why are you? I didn't say that's the reason. That's not the but reason. You were talking about it before. Yeah, you know? always talk about. You always talk about. Oh, but you never no, know I'm not their feet. That. That's the reason like, why. No, that's please. the reason why. I'm just saying in general. I know, <laughs> I know a lot of guys. I just know a lot of guys are like not sandal wearers. Actually, in this UK, yeah, that's why we're formal shoes. But the thing is, close to. If I was, if I was to look at a guy and they're wearing trad. And they're wearing trainers. I'm more inclined to look at their feet than if I saw them wearing sandals. Yeah, I'm that's like, so oh, true. Okay. Let me Use move my head around. Focus on if, the you're feet. Now wearing, if you're now wearing trainers, I'm like, ah, what's going on me? Yeah. Trainer? Anyway. Guys. So what if they're wearing black, all black um trad? Would they now go and wear white air forces? Maybe black air forces. Black. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, please just if they're wearing Blue now. Would they now go and wear white? I'm just apples? saying, wherever if they're gonna wear, let it be something that's like at least something no, that's a bit clean. Beatrice, just, this, is how, not... this is how you now start putting holes into the balloon. Oh my I don't want to hear. I don't want to see. Fair I don't want to see your any trainers. I don't want to see that. I don't think it's unpopular. No, I'm sorry. I mean, that's why I told at the beginning. It's a pop- oh, opinion. popular opinion. Yeah. I don't want to see any. And I'm not being. I'm not saying okay. that. I don't want to see any trainers. Since we're on this topic, what do you guys think about Gele? Like, should should you have to wear gele like if you're wearing trad? Or is no. it okay? No. But, but are you gonna talk about the hair? How the hair is done on top underneath huh? the gele? I huh? th- yeah, I, think, I know what you're gonna say. No, well, first of all, I don't like it when people do gele and it's like the hair is <laughs> Yeah, like underneath. Hair, like it's no. a hat. The gele is a hat. <laughs> have you seen that? Like you know, the and like the aunties. There's no one that's no, our age there's that does no that. Aunties that wear gele like that. Some aunties do. Where they wear the Some gele. Aunties do. Sorry, I don't know which aunties. I, I, don't, I, don't, see, I, don't, I, I don't see younger not people. Not aunties I know, but I've yeah, seen an auntie but I don't do see it. younger people doing what you're saying. I see. I've seen what? that before. What? On younger a, people. They're yeah, the ones that are raining. Where it's like they get, they put the gele like a hat. I have seen that. And their hair's down. I have seen that. What? I have seen that. that. Nah. No. Young people are notorious. I haven't seen that one. You've never seen them do that. Okay. Yeah, that's one. I think that's the only one I have. Okay, cool. What are you saying, like the hair, the hair in front? Yeah, I quite like it. I, I like feel like, it. I feel like it depends, but I actually really like it. I, I like it, it's but nice I don't feel having like, like hair in front. I like it, like, but if your don't shame people completely. for not doing it. I see some people saying that they that that people should have it like that that they shouldn't that they shouldn't have no hair in front. Oh, although they shouldn't have no hair in front. Yeah, it depends on the style of the gilly, I think. Really? Like for example, I do get that sometimes it does look a bit more like. Sleek, especially if the frontal is like slayed. Yeah, I feel like you can only do that you if can only do that when lace you have a frontal. Is flat, yeah, like, frontal just... or like a pony, but it's like you you need to have like edges. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, of well, course. Of you know course. what I mean? Because I'm not just. I was like, you see the skin. I thought you just seen skin and no like yeah, but edges, but just time... seen like hair. Yeah, but mo- what? <laughs> no, but I'm saying if what you don't do have, you know, like someone doesn't have edges, but they want to, they want to, they want to make, they want to create fake edges, but it doesn't exist. So the edges are not really edging. Like, I don't explain it. You just mean that your edges should be prominent yes. and slicked back yes. properly. Yes. Like, I get what you mean. That's we what I mean. thought you meant like, just like, you know, the bits of your head that's not gelled down. Like, oh, it's okay. Just, well, like, that's, how, that's, how be, like, that's how I'll be looking like anyway, halfway through the, halfway through the party after you sweat a little bit. <laughs> no. But yeah, I don't know. For me as well, we get it. Um, I don't, I don't really have too many other popular opinions. I mean, that one, 
clearly the one that you said about sitting on the hat. Yeah, it's I don't not, like it's not, that one. It's not I'd right. rather the hair just be. Just but sometimes Gilly doesn't suit some people and she just let it go. Yeah, it's true. Even me. Like, like, some people I doesn't feel like Gilly suit. suits me. No, I think it's suit. I think the one that only, only if. You have to. Fi- I, no, you uh-uh. have to find you your style. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't force a style. Don't force a style. It doesn't suit you. Yeah, but for you to know what a style is, you have to try it and error. Exactly. But you know something? When you try something, you look in the mirror, you first say, does this work? It doesn't work. You don't need to go and manage it. You can go and take it off and wear a normal wig. How? But you're already at the party. You're already at the party. Oh, okay. I'm I'm just thinking about people that prepare the gelling before they get to the party, which is a lot of people. Well, yeah, if you're in Nigeria, yeah, but he... Once they collect the ten pounds, if you want to go, oh, that's, that's another ten pounds. I even thought she was gonna take another one from me because I mean, no, she did mine yeah. too big. Sorry. Yeah. Reduce. Oh really? Yeah, because I normally have I normally like mine that has a knot at yeah. the side. Yeah. That's the the one I know. Ah, that's last. That one will suit me. Yeah. But she did it way too. Because I said okay, I want it big, but yeah. not like. It wasn't the bride. Yeah, the bride. Yeah. But, but yeah. I get what you mean. You wanted it a bit more subdued. I wanted it a bit more subdued. Yeah. I'm like, ah, am yeah. I the bride? Like, I'll yeah. come in and they'll be asking me, con- they'll be telling me congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. No, no, so no, impossible. No, no. So impossible. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think you just need to find a style that suits you. And depending on, and I think also depending on the, the style of the dress. dress you sew as well. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, of course, of course. Because all was, of that comes into if play. I, if I sewed, um, Sometimes I've sewed like a boo boo style, mm. but then a good one to go with it is like a turban, yeah, type yeah, yeah, of yeah, of course. as mm. opposed to the normal, mm. yeah, 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 of course, mm-hmm. of course, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so we enjoyed Vissy's wedding, that was yeah, really fun. shout yeah. out to yeah. uh, Mids because I feel like he absolutely shut it oh, down. Oh, yeah, Mids did like, well, Mids was absolutely well. shut it down. Um, um another thing, mm. Mid Day looks so good. As oh, in, what. This Minute is what, always shows up like yeah, looking, this is what I'm looking about. Look at the matching location. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. that's why I, obviously I'm not, yeah, midday fam. Mm. But this is another point. I don't know if oh. it's unpopular opinion or whatever. If you are a vendor at these things and you're being shown, not that you're the caterer or that you're in the back of the mm. kitchen, and you're being shown, whether you're a videographer, photographer, mm. live band, mm. can we be dressing to the occasion? Everyone mm. did that. Mm. I know you're not talking about this wedding, but yeah. Oh. Oh. I thought everyone looked fine. I thought the, well, just the vendors were in black. Please. Like I said, just dress to the case. Yeah, I think everyone there actually was. Yeah, yeah. you know what you're saying. No, yeah. everyone's dressed to the occasion, but I'm just yeah. saying there's some weddings that I've oh, been yeah, to. Oh yeah, I've definitely yeah. been to. Like, ah. yeah. yeah. I've definitely been to weddings where like they looked like they were not, they didn't know that they were going to come out from wherever they were. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But things are, obviously, I know some DJs might not want to wear trad, fair enough, but at least wear something that looks like, yeah, just like look you're nice. stepping out, look nice, yeah, yeah. look clean, look sharp. But even like, though, when they, we went to Cheese Wedding last year, the after party, the um the DJ, the DJ yeah. he was on a bit of a stage. He was he looked so good. Oh, yeah, he, he was wearing like a three piece suit. suit. Yeah, like, he, looked, he looked nice. He looked, Ooh, he looked yeah, very, yeah. very oh, good. Oh, he looked. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> hey, he looked good. Anyway, his suit was his very suit nice. Was, ah, <laughs> tailored, tailored. Mm-hmm, Gee, you know, mm-hmm. the... <laughs> Quite tight. Anyway, um, yeah, but yeah, that's what we did. What else did we do? Oh, we went to uh, listed. Oh yeah, we went to listed. Yeah, how was that? That was. It was good. all right. It was yeah, good. It was all right. Yeah. yeah, it was good and it was all right. Yeah, yeah, it was. Just, no, it was just you a bit of a blur. Yeah, it was. And also, we missed all the Afro beats. I think. Yeah. So when we arrived, it was just. But also, because it was Carnival weekend, I think they did say that it was going to be like a oh, Carnival style. You should have told me, Chia. Yeah, it was a Carnival Maybe she style. didn't tell me on purpose. Cause... I'm crying. Not that I don't like um, Bashman and Soka music. Yeah. But like, I enjoy going out and hearing Afro beats. Yeah. But, um, yeah. I like yeah. It was an older crowd. Which hearing I, a mix. I enjoyed. It can't even be one genre. Mm. Yeah, like it definitely. Mm. In the, mix. the MC though, he was really good. Oh yeah, he was funny. Who? He was good. I don't know. I don't know. He, he looked either. kind of familiar though. I don't know. Mm. I don't yeah, know his name, cool. but he was cool. Yeah. Um, like he was good. Um, and, and it was a an twenty-five. Crowd. Yeah, twenty-five. Yeah, 25 plus, please, plus. just let's be sticking to that. Please, I just please. But tell me what. Tell Vish what you were telling me in the car the other yeah, day. Yeah, because um, I spoke to Sharon about. I was like, oh, how was it? It was like, oh, there was a lot of older people. And I Tammy said, hates that, and I'm just like, I don't understand. You don't, I get what she means Because sometimes When you go to these Older events They're not that lit Like The girls will be Posing Crossing their legs I'm sad And wearing their Tom Ford I can't walk heels <laughs> And the men Will just be there In their shirt That's a bit too tight They're not moving properly. I don't like that Because they're not Young and lit Can't lie The over 18s Or the over 21 I can't lie Those parties be popping Because they're young And lit that mm. over 25, like I said, they'll be crossing their leg. I think Giselle it's just a... Uh, heels, mm, can't walk. Mm. I think that's the older crowd that 
I don't have to explain it, but like, it's, you need to go to the right events. Like, no, like, but that's what how they, they are for majority. The ones I've been seeing, the same crowd the same event. No, no, no. So no, no. How do we- I'm not talking about the crowd that you're thinking of. The crowd that you're thinking of, yes, they're older, but it's also because of social media kind of like stushiness. Like stushiness. I don't know how to explain it. I know the crowd you're talking about. But the crowd that I'm talking about is very different. Like, there's um, there's like the Twitter people then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's be like that. That one I can, I can relate with you. But there's actually a separate older crowd, which is a bit more- they're not even, they're even maybe a bit older than those guys that I'm talking about on Twitter. So 40. No, hey. like 30, <laughs> but like maybe mid 30s ish. And then the type of events that I'm talking about, it's like full on, it's full on like. So is that what happened? Lit, like listed. Turn up. People were, people were, hun- it was literally yeah, like a vibing. vibing. It was yeah, not yeah. a sit down thing. The girls no one on was standing table up. table as well were really nice. Yeah, like, like yeah, okay. we were really we like, like with them. Yeah, like yeah. it was a good vibe. Yeah. But also, the ones that I, like I said, the ones that I've been seeing, which are different events, not the crowd that you're talking about. Because mm-hmm. it was a crowd you're talking about, I can, I can definitely understand. But the people I've been seeing, I can't lie, they're having a good old time. And <laughs> especially when it's looking sweet. So, yeah, nah, I like that. I like eh, that for sure. Yes. Zero out of 10 for me. Why? But no. Because someone's actually... They're not young and... They're not lit. They are. They're, they're not Sorry, lit, you're, so you're, Okay, so the what? Okay, the event that we went to... Which one? The, the event that we went to, I'm not going to say the name, me and you, and then we went with... When I me and you, we went to the about. event. It was on a Sunday, no? Yeah, on a Sunday. You know what I'm talking about. And then, um, you know what event I'm talking about. Okay, just keep that on... That was around the corner from here. The, the location's around the corner from here, oh, right? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Are you telling me that kind of vibe is a lit vibe? No, because that was an anomaly. But that's the type of events though that they do like in that crowd. The one that, you, that I think is lit with that event is when they mix with the older crowd. That's when I find it. That's when I find their events lit. Do you yeah. get my point? No, I get what you're saying. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying that if we're looking at it like statistically, the sorry, the young people, sorry, mm-hmm. they're young and lit. Like, there, there's, you're always, you're always I understand they're young and lit, but so you have fun with them. You, are you saying you have fun with them? Most are you time. or do you have fun with your own people, but you just vibe off? Like, I don't have to, I don't have to explain it. You go in and you're having fun with those younger people, or is it just that you find that no, I'm saying that the vibe, vibes off of you? I'm saying that the vibe generally, everybody, like there's a difference if you go to an event and you're with your people or you're on a certain table and you're having fun. But if the vibe of the whole thing is not the same as that, then that means that that event is not popping. Mm. It, it, like, yeah, you can say that, oh yeah, we had a vibe. The, the whole, but mm. if the whole event is not the mm. same okay, so vibe you as judge that. It, you judge it by the whole event, not just 100%. you. Not just you. 100%. Okay, no, I vibe it by me. I don't really care about the whole event. How, how do you... Then I how, care about both. Like, I care about... Obviously, the event. I don't want to be just the one person singing and dancing and everybody else is sat down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't want that. I'm not going to lie. But then also, it's like, sometimes you can go to some lit events and if you're not with your lit people, then it's like, it doesn't, doesn't really matter anyway. That's my point. It's just like, the event is lit, but you can't involve yourself in the litness because you're not mm. with your people that are lit. Do you mm. get what I mean? Yeah, but, so are, you saying, but are you saying at those over 35 events, you have some people there that is like your no, but, people? No, no, no but she means saying, like going with like your regular Yeah, like, going with my regular something. crowd, wherever we go. Not trying to say, obviously, yes, the outside vibe, like, the music for me, it's the music. It's not really the other people. It's the music. As long as the music is solid for me, if I'm with my lit people, it's gonna be a lit yeah. time. Like it doesn't really matter about other people. Which is why I'm saying that, like the older crowd, the younger crowd. Mm, I get what you're trying to say. Like the vibe, yes, it might be different, but I don't even associate Definitely. with those different. younger people. Like I stay with myself. I maybe like it's a mixture, DJs. Boy. Maybe it's the I DJs. Mean, yeah. I like a mixture, and, yeah. and I'm saying, and don't get twisted. So you're, saying like, 20, you're saying 25 plus is too old. No, I'm not saying it's too old. I'm just saying that. When events start, when they start doing 25, 27, 32 plus, that's when I'm just like, you know what? I think guys should just start going to weddings because all this um, over 27, over 28. By the time, in five years time, they're going to start saying over 35. My dear, it's time to stop going nah, to church. Nah, no, come oh, on. A, you can go out at that time. Event. I'm going to be going out at that time when I'm older, man. No, I will be going out when I'm older, but I don't like it. I don't, I don't like think it. I'm be going to the clearer. Oh, I Maybe sometimes. But I don't like, think I'll be like, going to. I don't. I don't go to ticketed, the club now. Ticketed events. No, I don't go to the club now. But I'm just saying, when you start, when you now start doing, when I start seeing over twenty seven, I'm like, hey, really? Yeah, anyway, I'm just like, I don't hey, know. It's enough. enough. I look at a, a few different things. First of all, do I even want to go out in the first place? <laughs> yes. And is this the event that's happening? Okay, who's DJing? And then who's going with me as well? Because the thing is, with us girls, like our group chat, like wherever we go, we'll have fun. Like even if it's not like 
a popping event. Mm-hmm. So do you know what I mean? So yeah. like sometimes it's it really just depends on like a few different factors. But mm-hmm. I get both of you guys' point of view for sure. Because mm-hmm. those events where it's like everyone is just sat down and you have to just sit pretty and like yeah. you want to be singing whatever, 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 and you can't even do it because everybody's <laughs> yeah, trying I to be. I feel like I definitely get sorry, not to go on this, but I definitely get where you're coming from. But yeah. I do feel like times are slightly getting better. Maybe again it's because I'm seeing different types of events. But I the I've not been to a I don't think I've been to any motive recently where where people aren't standing up and vibing. Like, I, I genuinely can't remember, can't remember the last either. event that I've been I to either, that people definitely... are sitting down doing the stush thing and I've been with older crowds. But I'm definitely selective in what I go to which now. Is, which I is can't, true. I can't just be... Ugh, but a good DJ will get people standing. That's what my genuine opinion is. Like, I don't think so. I think, if, I, I think yeah, DJ you, can have a good, you can have a good DJ, but the crowd in itself and I feel that like especially if, if, you're not, if you're not familiar with the type of crowd as well, sometimes it might not I don't know. Mm. I just feel like the <clears throat> events that I'm talking about where I find them a bit more enjoyable. I just like going to somewhere knowing I'll know a lot of the people. See, that's different. That are going that's, there. And that's the thing that Tammy enjoys, which is why I'm like, it's di- that's why Tammy doesn't like the older crowd. Because when Tammy's with the people, when she's Tammy goes to the events I'm talking about, she goes and mingles with all the people that she yeah, likes. Yeah, that's which what I, I don't like. do. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't do, do at events typically. I don't I get that I'd go out and I'm like, oh my God, hi, hi. But if I'm going with my group, I'm staying with my group like and I'm having a lip time with my group. I don't go mm. out really to go and Mingle with loads of other people It's just if you bump into mm. us You bump into us If you vibe with us You vibe with us mm. But it's not my mission Whereas I know Tammy enjoys That older crowd I feel <laughs> like if you crazy. knew More of the older crowd I feel like you wouldn't Have the no, stance no, no, But no. it's because you know like Especially her young If you think about um, Tammy's uni experience Obviously Tammy was with A little yeah, bit of the younger crowd yeah, As well yeah. in that regard So I think that's why hey, Tammy hey, enjoys it on. You were one, The facts the facts One year I went It made to a difference one, It didn't make a difference so It does like Sharon hang out with the young people No but, she, no, but yo, you are more social with them Sharon wasn't Sharon was the younger people. Sharon is not you I don't understand. Sorry. Hold it's on. true though. No, it's not. It's not true. Maybe in your Warwick uni, you guys stuck with oh, we're 18 and nah, we're together. Not at but all. when we but when you get to uni, everybody was the same. Yeah, I right, know, but you're just a so you're more social. So, like, for example, you'd actually get on more with someone that's you wouldn't get on someone that's younger. That's just the facts. You wouldn't get on with someone that's younger than no, you. No, but I'm less likely to be more I'm not an interactive Based social. On age. I'm not an interactive person in general, so I'm less likely going to meet with people that are younger because I'm going to be with my crowd who are in my age. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You're just social, so people will vibe with you. People yeah, come up to you. I don't think that is determined on age. I'm just a social pe- person in general. I can get Which on is with what a 35-year-old. I can get on with a 25-year-old. 100%, 25 but I'm saying that because you were in uni and then you had, you would mingle with all people across all ages. For me, I wouldn't. I don't know how to explain but how, it. But that, that, just because you're me, social. That make, to me, that doesn't make sense. It's just... You're saying that I would hang out with, but when because I got to uni, social. everybody was either my age or the year younger, or people were older. I, I don't think, know. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I don't know. I, don't I think know. what Beatrice is trying to say is like, I'm just, when sh- I'm just, I just mingle with anyone. I, I don't, know. I don't discriminate That's my point. based on age. I get, I get your, I, I get your point, but I'm saying that also, mm. you being there one extra year does extend to another set of people. I don't, I don't, I don't think because so. the people because that majority, the people that I'm, the majority of the people yeah. that. I hung out with yeah. were even my age younger or a year above. There were so many people that maybe it's my maybe it's my um I think I th- I think because what'd you call it? People people went to uni at any like any age. age. Maybe. Maybe it might be that I'm just thinking and are older than us. I know. That's, so that's different are we not though. They're saying they're, that they no, but they're older they're than so us. Sh- they're older than us, but they're in our year. Like they're actually in our year. No. No, no, yeah. as in they're in our year. They're no. not. They're both mean? not in our school years. <laughs> they're they're a year older than us, both of them. No, but I'm saying academically, f- was. No. F- graduated the same year as me. Yeah, but it's not, we're not talking about uni now. Uni I'm now. uni. I'm saying, are you saying that those people were hanging out with younger people the same way that I did? Yeah. Because it's the same thing. We didn't all start year seven at the same time. Is basically what we're trying to we're explain to you. We're meeting them on the same position. Oh, fair I'm enough. Just, just, but maybe, I, okay, I could be, I could be <laughs> wrong here. I think it's because I'm thinking about that particular event and the people that you're saying hello to. For me, I'm like, whoa, like, I don't tend, not whoa, but I don't say hello to those people because I'm don't. i not cool with them. Yeah, but, but anyway, woo, back to the episode. What are we yeah. even talking about? Um, we're events. talking about our week and, uh, and oh. events and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I let's just live Oh, yeah. How was that? Really good. He knows how to put on a show. Like, I know sometimes you talk about the big three, the something three, but honestly, he's up there in terms of like he's up perform- there in terms of performance, hundred percent. Ah, okay, interesting. Hundred percent. There's loads of people that I think are up there in terms of performance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for someone sure. like Mayokun. Oh my god, when I went to Mayokun concert, I was 
utterly surprised and taken back. There's even one day call. Were you not surprised yeah, that they one day call in terms is, of performance? One day call is like what I think all concerts should be like, which yeah. is like a rendition of your actual music that we've been listening to on Spotify anyway. Mm-hmm. Like I love that stuff. Does he still do that now? I haven't seen him recently. He hasn't had, he hasn't a, concert had a concert since recently. Then. The last time I the last time I saw him was when we all went to the concert, but then I saw him perform in Nigeria last year and it was okay. exactly how it was back then. Yeah. So it was really so good. I love the way I don't know if you saw the Shay saw him in um LA when she went for yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. He does um oh, he does shows little... there. When we went to LA, he had a show there. Yeah, he's a, he's there quite a bit. These girls come with me. They said no. It's quite anyway, um I would have done. I know, I know. But yeah, there's other people that I actually think are up there as well in terms of talent, but like they just don't have like the reach. Like yeah. for example, I love Kiz Daniel. Like I feel like yeah. anytime he hops on a song, anytime he features on a song, like he's always cold. Like yeah. do you know what I mean? He has, yeah, he's yeah, he's good. He's definitely good. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into the episode. Should we just start with the dilemma? Yeah, let's start yeah. with the dilemma. Um, cool. So, hey girls, love the podcast. You truly make my day every Monday. I have a dilemma and I want to know your view. So here it goes. I plan to attend, uh, to attend an event with my friend, Bold. They've called their friend Bold. Let's just take their friend. B-A-L-D. No, B-O-L-D. Bold. Oh, okay, Bold. Okay, fair. Wait. Um, They've called. That's well, the, no. I, let me yeah, change like, Should I change it? Courage. Change this. Yeah, okay. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> They've called their friend in this dilemma bold. bold yeah. yeah, not bold as in no hair. Bold, bold as in B O L D. Courageous. As in the person is bold as in no hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bold as in no hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Okay, okay so you can understand why the person is bold. Ah, yeah. ah, very bold. Very bold of her. Mm. Mm. I think it's, she didn't say this yet, but another reason would for me would was even like, you would rather me go alone. That's what she said. Or, or yeah. you would rather me lose out on $24 just because you can't go. Oh, because yeah, then she, if like, she can't yeah. find someone that's interactive, she's just not going to be able go. to go. Yeah, twenty four dollars. Wow. So what will you guys do? So what are you guys? One, do you think she's an asshole? And then two, who? Oh, for right. cutting the, off the friend. Yeah, for cutting off the friend. Um, and I don't know. I don't know if it's a cuttable offense to ask for your brother to pay the money. I don't know whether I will cut them off. Hundred percent. Mm. I think we'd have to have some words, mm. and then depending on. They've had those response. were the words. No, but no. Always oh, in tell her like. Yeah, oh, by I'll the way, like, I think this is. But I'll, mm. I'll go again. I'll be like, by the way, the mm. fact that because I'm just thinking if it was my own brother, I'm thinking the fact that you even come and tell me, yeah, mm, that, that my, my brother, brother should, should come pay. and pay because mm, yeah. you decided to eat something bad and get food poisoning. Decided, then, man. No one wishes food poisoning decided. upon I'm themselves. Not, I'm, not, but, I'm not saying. Listen, yeah, I, hear you. I get what I'm you mean. Not, it's not my brother's it's fault. It's not my brother's yeah, fault. It's yeah. not my fault that yeah. you ate something. Yeah, it's it's just the way of the of the land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes you're the only you. person that there's no, no one's one, blaming anybody. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Sorry, Facts. you're the one that had the bad egg. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. So it's not my fault that that has happened. And the fact that you're now using your mouth to come and tell me that my brother should come and pay after he's basically just stepped in for you. Yeah, yeah. didn't even want to go. Absolutely not. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely not. Mm. Um, I don't know if I would necessarily cut the person off, right? I think like you, I would explain like my point of view and be like, by the mm. way, like I'm really surprised that you're behaving in this way because mm. I see it in this way. And then maybe they're, they're like, no, but I see it kind of differently, like... I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Mm. We can have a discussion. If we still, if you still feel the same way after you've had that discussion and you've shown her, like, from your point of view, what this says about her character, mm. I would just create distance between us. I won't yeah, go out with you again yeah, one on one for sure. I wouldn't, mm, I wouldn't yeah. do that to myself. Mm, mm, agreed. Yeah, I think the same thing. Yeah. Um, but I think it's actually kind of wild, though, to be asking the brother to pay yeah. for the money. Yeah. Especially yeah. Something, something so small. So I get like if it was a big. It depends. Thing. I mean, $24 might not be small to her, but like, mm. it, it, either way, like, I feel like. Like, how else do you think that this would have gone? Like, it's either yeah. like I don't go and I also lose out on twenty four dollars, and yeah. just because you can't go, so and we both lose, and out. you're happy for us, you're just happy both. for me to like forego my yeah. money, yeah. Um, mm. or it's like you don't want me to, and en- you don't want someone else to enjoy. What did she say? I don't, I don't want some. For, I don't some... want to pay for someone else's enjoyment. No, that's crazy. And that yeah. someone else and is it's your even brother. my brother. No, yeah. no, no, no. Yeah. Can I put a hypothetical thing? Yeah, I oh, think. sorry. Can we take a small diversion? You know when you were saying to me the other day like, oh, your hypothetical mind. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. yeah, I just want you to say it. Yeah, okay, camera. yeah. Because <laughs> God, Let's we're having a conversation it. and then uh, I was just like, oh, you and your hypothetical mind. Thank you so much. Yeah, I helped Tammy. She helped come me to, come up with uh, some situation. Yes. Anyway, thank you, Sharon. Yes. Um, I was going to say, let's say <laughs> that this event was something like a DLT motor where it's like the actual... So it's, the cost of it is a lot. The cost is a lot. Oh. And it's like a whole holiday type mm, of thing mm. would, do you think that you still have the same stance as in you would ex- you would still you still wouldn't expect your brother to pay mm. for something like that when mm. it's like a greater thing and it's like a big mm. type of cost and it's like a whole holiday as opposed to like a day event yeah mm. um, and it's something you both had planned to go on mm. but now you're thinking oh I'm, I'll take my brother instead mm. if it if, if it were me I would probably say to my friend like if my brother could afford it and he actually wanted to go, then obviously I would just be like, oh, my brother will cover it. It's fine. But if my brother actually doesn't want to go, and for DLT Malta as well, that's like a few days. Like, do you mm. know what I mean? And he's coming with me and he really doesn't want to go. And he also can't really afford it. And I'd say like, I can't really afford it either. I would probably offer to pay like 50% of the ticket or something mm. if it doesn't get sold. Or maybe I'd have spoken to her about it before I even offered it to my brother. Like, listen, no one's buying this ticket. Would you want to do like, are you happy for me to like give it to my brother at like a 50% discount or something. Mm, yeah. Um, mm, yeah, I think the same thing as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what do you think? I don't know. It, it really depends on, depends on my friend. Like if my friend was like, oh, like she doesn't care. Like she, your brother can just take the ticket. I'm like, oh, yeah. Yeah, fine. thank you. But yeah. if um she was like, oh, I'd like to get at least half of the money back. Like you said, yeah. I probably either would pay it myself or my brother would probably yeah, he would, he'd rather just pay for half, like he'd be mm. fine paying yeah. half, and then yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'd, be yeah. More, but you'd be more understanding as to why she was asking for the money back. Is yeah, that what because you're saying? It, because it's the the cost, the cost, and then the whole 
you know, sometimes holidays and stuff like that, it's a mm. bit more than like if it's like a day event. Like mm. there's a lot more effort into it because it's not just it's not just you paying for the event tickets, all the other stuff as well. Hotel, flight, mm. um, transport to and from Okay, the wait, so that one's the one that you're saying inclusive of all that, you should be paying 50%. What do you mean? So, for example, you know, like you just said, on a holiday, you pay for flights or com. Yeah. But then now you have to do a name change to switch it to your brother. No, I'm saying like, like I'm just talking about the actual ticket, not the okay, whole Okay, you're just holiday. about the ticket, fine. I'm saying like, if there was a ticket, it was like, because DLT ticket was like £299. Yeah. So if it's like, oh, if you just pay half, but then there's still those other added costs as well. So I would feel like my French would be more inclined to take as much money. Oh, because they're the losing ticket. out on the other added because costs. Because you, you still have to... Someone oh, still has right. to pay for all the other stuff. So yeah. it's kind oh, of like... I get you. I get you. It's kind of like, oh, if my brother came with me, it's going to be more... Okay. So I'm trying to... It's so a be a bit cost, more... It's yeah. a bit more... There's there's more cost involved Than just the actual that, ticket. Than just the actual ticket. Yeah, I get you. Is so, it that your brother will pay for the cost of those extra stuff for himself? Yeah. And your friend also loses out on the money they paid on those stuff? Well, let's say she was somehow able to get a refund on like her flight and stuff. Say like, say she also thought that she was going to be able to get a refund on the ticket. So she's already gone ahead and gotten a refund on the Ecom and the flight. So she has no other cost. Only, only the ticket. So only, only the, the ticket. ticket remains. Then obviously, her, like Tammy's brother would have to, or my brother, I don't know what we're using. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. anyone's brother would have to now go and buy flight and like a Ecom in okay. order to attend the thing. So yeah. Tammy's saying that you would expect that she would be understanding that like it's only really 50% that like he would pay, right? Yeah. Because oh, okay. he's obviously going to have to incur like a lot of extra costs at a last minute just to accommodate yeah mm. sort of thing yeah mm. no, I, hear it, mm. I hear it yeah that makes sense for real yeah interesting one but let us know what you guys think as well in mm. the comments below mm. do you think she's the asshole I personally don't no only people's friends anyway mm. okay let's quickly do hot gist right yeah. I thought we are going to do song of the week let's quickly do hot gist so <laughs> I said I thought you were going to do Song of the Week quickly to break it up. Oh, because you said I thought, so I just thought you meant <laughs> no, like. No, 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 no. I said. Oh, I was like, yeah, but I didn't. Let's look at your Song of the Week. Okay, the let's week. move on to Hodges. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what she says. So that's why I didn't know. That is what I no, said. You no, said. you said I thought you were going to no. do Song of the Week. Yeah. You oh, said yeah. I thought. Oh, so sorry. when you said that, I was like, no, I'm going to do Hot Hodges. <laughs> but no, okay, let's do no, Song of the Week. It's just so funny because Sharon was just like, let's do Hot Hodges. No, because I was like, oh no, that's not what I was going to say. I was going to say, let's do oh, hot gist. Um, anyway, sorry, I didn't understand. But okay, <laughs> yeah, let's do some of the week. <laughs> Guys, I even prepared and I have a list here. Hey. I'm going to try not do all of them. It <laughs> <laughs> just gives me the list. I hope that's for the rest of the yeah, month. Yeah, no, it's for the rest of the month. Oh. I'll be adding to it. Let me put on my eyeglass. <laughs> gosh, <laughs> gosh. See this list. Gosh. Ah. Who wants to start? Yeah, do you want to, do you want to, do you want to explain you. The, the song of the week? The song of the week theme. Oh, right. Yeah, of course. Okay, guys. So if you don't already know, we have a playlist on Apple Music, Spotify, and um, YouTube playlists um, where we add songs to our song of the week playlist um, each and every week based on a theme that we have chosen at the start of the month. For the month of September, we've chosen gospel, which I'm sure a lot of people will be excited to hear because lots of people have been requesting that we do it. Um, and yeah, this is, I think, the second week now where we're going to be adding songs. And yeah, I have a long list. But who wants to start? Um, Tammy, feel free to start. <laughs> I was going to say, with this person and her long list, she's she not yeah, she's too shy to be starting. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do too many. I'll do, I'll do, I'll do six. Maybe. What? Okay, cool. The first one I want to do is Jaira, my provider. Shout out to our friend, Happy. Because he obviously did the remix or I don't mm-hmm. know what you would call that. Is it a Reverb, remix? I don't know what yeah. it is. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, he's cold. Like if you guys don't know, happy, happy with an I at the end instead of a Y. Mm. He's cold. So yeah, Jaren, my provider, Limo Blaze, Lecrae and Happy. Um, and then I've actually added this song to the playlist before, but it's Limo Blaze again. Um, put it on God. And I think he even has a concert coming up soon. So In the um, UK? Yeah, in the UK. Um, and then another song I'm going to add is um, Uninvited. And Saint And it's called Things Change That's more like um, Gospel R&B um, And then I'm going to add Oh right So obviously Lotto Ash He I think you've spoken About this on the pod before He gave his life to Christ His testimony is so I haven't crazy. watched it yet um, But yeah He recently put out An album And it's called I think it's From the Ashes Ash to Ashes actually mm. Um and yeah, I really love that album. Like, go and listen to everything. But 
The songs I'm going to add are um, Pray and, oh, is it One God? Yeah, Pray and One God. Nice. Okay, that was start with short and succinct. So those songs will be added to the playlist. Tammy, do you want to go next? Yeah, I'm going to add uh, Tasha Cobb's Break Every Chain. Mm. And also Time and a Man. Take me to the king. Yes. Good one, yeah. good, good, one, one good one, good one. Those two? Yeah, those two. Okay. Um, so I'm going to add You Deserve It, J.J. Hairston. Mm. That's a really, really good song. Um, then I'm going to add um, My Worship, Phil Thompson. Oh, yeah. Love that one as well. I'm going to add All About You, Anita Wilson. And then I'm going to add um, Fill Me Up, KCJ. Oh, yeah. Nice. Okay, so we had a similar number Yes. We went through quickly. Yes. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed those 12 songs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll add it to our playlist. And hey, this the playlist link... is going to be long because you know some gospel songs. But yeah, you need it. You need yeah. it. Yeah. You need it, hey, man. What? Yeah, because um, uh, yeah, uh, some gospel songs can be eight summer, minutes. Good. Ah, That's how it cleans. Ah, yeah. Remove all okay. them nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's now go on to Hot Gist. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I didn't actually understand before. But okay, cool. Um, Love is Blind Reunion. By now, anyway, like Love is Blind would have been done and dusted for mm. a while. But yeah. um, obviously, we've spoken about it on the pod before. And you've watched the reunion, right? Yeah. So I wanted to talk about this whole like um, Ollie and mm. Demi. Demi situation, but also Catherine as well. Yeah. Because did you... Did you think that I don't know if you saw She did an interview with And I can't remember his name she Will didn't. Will Is it Will? The guy that interviews Like everyone Yeah 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 yeah, Will. yeah 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 He is such a good interview He also yeah. comments on our comments stuff on our as well stuff. Oh, so, yeah, Shout him out yeah. Yeah. Hey love you um, But yeah He did a very He had I haven't watched all of it I've seen some of the clips On TikTok Very candid interview with Demi Yeah um, And where they were talking about Whether or not like um, Demi felt Um she was Ollie's type and things mm. like that. Mm. I wanted to get you guys' opinion, right? On whether, like, from what you've seen on the show, do you believe that Ollie likes liked Demi, like, aesthetically? Mm. And also, whether you think people that look like Demi are his type? Mm. I personally don't feel like Ollie liked Demi. Okay. <laughs> he didn't. From the time that he used the word sublime to describe <laughs> another girl... Bro, bro, and Can she had a particular it, right? type. It just yeah. confirmed it for me. But like, how did they Sorry. look that different to you in terms of like? No, 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 no. no in, wait, I mean, and Demi. No, but the thing is, when it comes to Ollie and Demi, I'm talking about Demi and um. Sh- what's oh, name? so I thought you meant in terms of their Charlotte, type. I thought you meant in terms of their caliber. Are they the same? You know how like you know like people are certain calibers. <laughs> are they the same? Is that what you're trying to say? Or whether one's above the other? I thought that's no, what you're trying to point I out. I think they look. Like the same. Like I don't know how to explain. It. I feel I, like the women look like alike, not alike, but like they're obviously different women. But I mean, because basically, what I'm trying to get at is like there was this whole thing at the reunion about like how Catherine was basically saying that Demi's not yeah gonna be she his basically, type. She basically insinuated in one of the um, confessionals confessionals mm. that basically them. Uh, Demi isn't Ollie's type. Yeah, mm. I don't I can't remember what comment she yes. said, but it wasn't. Mm. It wasn't very nice. Mm. Yeah, and then it now had this whole conversation of um, did Ollie find Demi attractive? And I, mm. what did Ollie say? He said that he usually goes for women who look like Demi and not women that look like Catherine. Catherine. And in my head, I was thinking to myself, like, why is there this whole notion that like like light skin or like mixed race men don't find black women or like. Attractive. Obviously, oh, Demi is also is that mixed what you race. Meant? Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't know the comparison. That was the second question. Okay, I didn't know the comparison that you were talking about was between Demi and Catherine. I thought you were saying Demi and the baby called Sublime. Yeah, no. But so I was. Bitches, we know that he called her Sublime. I don't know who her name is. Charlotte. Charlotte. Her name's Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh, her name's Charlotte. Yeah, because yeah. oh, okay. they like have like they're not the same skin tone, but like yeah. they. Do you know what I mean? They fall in a similar sort of category. No. Versus like Catherine. Do you know what I, I want to say something? And I don't, I don't know what this is going to take it the wrong way. So guys, okay. just bear with me as I deliver this message. Yeah. Mm. So with the pods, right? The pods Even you don't see, you don't see like. people. It's just yeah. based on connection. Yeah. Mm. Guys want a a girl that they get on really well with. Yeah. Mm. But they want to be able to see that sexual. Mm. They want it to match a sexual aesthetic that mm. they're yeah. like. 
Like, not only is she my best friend, but she looked bad and like she yeah, gives off yeah. that sex appeal. So I feel like he likes Demi true through and through yeah. based on personality. Yeah. I think he definitely did. But the reason there's a fine line between, and that's why Demi mentioned this about whole being like friend zone typically. Mm. There's a fine line between getting along with someone so well that they're your friend and get along with someone so well. But the sexual attraction is so much that it's like, no, we can't be friends. We have to be more. Mm. And you have to go, the sexual attraction has to go past that Mm -hmm. friendship for you to be like, I like you, which is what I think Oli lacked. Now, my rebuttal to that is, if you know you're that way inclined, right? Why go on the show? Why are you going on the show? Like, I hear this whole like, oh, I wanted to Clout. remove my... Yeah. I wanted to remove it yeah. from my eyes yeah. because usually that's what I do. If you know that's usually what you do, stick to doing, looking at people's faces. I'm not going to lie. Mm. Because also, in fact, <laughs> let me not even go on to um, um, Sabrina and that, and that guy. Sabrina and that oh, guy. That useless. Ah, useless. Uh, I bought you, you Steven. I bought you Steven. We'll come on to that in a no, minute. But, but what I was going to say, yeah, I get what you're trying to say. Like, why would you go on the show? But I, it doesn't skip the fact that it, personality is still number one for them. Personality oh. can still be number one. But I'm just saying that they want it to ideally okay. be with somebody. That when they still look at them, because basically it's not like they want... But the thing is, do you know what? Do you know why I'm struggling though, Beatrice? Because like, I honestly feel like I feel like it was almost immediately obvious to like us as viewers that like this guy's not really feeling that girl. Like, do you know Based what I mean? Based on looks. Based on looks. But I'm just like, if you were still on the high of like personality is the overwhelming factor for me, I feel, Sharon, like, it take, I feel like it would take a bit of a while to no, kick in. No, Sharon, let's be realistic. Really? No, because matter she's how... Be- like, she's beautiful. If it was like a thing, you know how... Um, beautiful um, is one different. Sec, one sec. sex appeal. Yeah, Beatrice, one sec, one sec, one sec. You know how now when um oh, what was um the huh? law was here and he was talking about objectively ugly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Obviously, we know like if the person is objectively ugly, there's no amount of like yeah, personality fact, that's yeah. gonna make 100%. them. 100 percent But I just feel like I just feel like he didn't try, personally. No, I think I think it is sex. I'm genuinely using the term sex appeal, which is very different to beauty. Oh. Beauty is is fine, but sex appeal was like what makes them like, do you know what I mean? Like I tried to explain it like. It may, it's, the, it's that sexual attraction, which for them, I feel like definitely lacks. Everybody was already progressing sexually with their partners. Whereas for them, they were doing the whole holy and down, sitting, sitting in, in, in bed, bed row, sitting in the bed. Yeah, um, eating toast. Yeah, eating toast and, and wearing uh, robe in, in, in the bed. <laughs> that one is very, very different because clearly there's not a sexual tension that you yeah, want to it, it break. Hadn't, it hadn't there's got no, it, to that point And yet. that's what I'm trying to say that I feel like that that is what lacks. I genuinely believe though that but he connected you know with her. I didn't really see that was as an issue. I can imagine, like, still being attracted to a guy, but also being, like, a bit, like, reserved in that in that way because it's Sharon, like... Sharon, I get that you might not act. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that you will do madness. No, no, but no. I'm no, saying no. that you will feel... Sharon, you will still feel Sharon. something. We're not talking about, oh, the guy is here and we're just sitting here. <laughs> They've engaged. They're on holiday. <laughs> Tropical island. Then, the sun is blue. Well, this is the tropical shiny. island. <laughs> tropical island. Tropical island. Tropical island. Everything is Literally. there. Literally. And even in the and you're talking about oh we're yeah. not there yet. I'm trying to say you know what no, no because I, can, I know what I'm like basically is what I'm trying to say. I like, know what I, I, no, I know I'm a what bit trying shy. to say. We're not talking no. of no. you. We're not trying to say yeah, that. Yeah, but I'm trying to say like I'm but trying to relate. Okay, okay, okay. Let's you're see. not gonna go on a show and be talking to someone in a pod. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and no. have them propose yeah, to you. Yeah, we're not talking about them. And also, for example, let's be real, guys. Let's be real. I don't want. I'm not gonna call people that. Let's be real, right? In a setting where like there's loads of other couples, you're normally more ex- I don't know I'm not uh, saying more expressive but you're more yeah. inclined to be expressive you're more likely to be like okay if I see my partner like my friend and her partner next to each other like touching each other I'm gonna be like okay cool this is a safe space for us to be like be cozy anyway no but that's what, but you as well can't you that's what I'm saying that, but you as black. well I'm, I'm, as I said I start off like that because I want you to understand yeah, no, that I know what you're that saying. should be a thing even if you're going to oh. do anything mm. in a sense of where there's loads of couples they were very much always on opposite sides of, of the room okay, okay. whereas they should have really been together yeah, really no, holding exactly. Each other, which yeah. is in a setting like that where you're filled with couples and it's meant to be yeah, a romantic yeah, no, setting. I agree. I I was talking more about like you guys were saying that like they weren't like sexually no, involved. No, 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 not sexually involved. Me. There was no, no. There, was, there was yeah, but the sexual what? attraction. No, no, you couldn't yeah, see no, it. So, okay, so what I'm trying to say is because we we're talking about the robe and the eating toast on the yeah. bed, right? Cross legged. Yes. But my thing was more that like kind of like crazy. I get that like you might it just might just be one of them things where like you 
I don't know. Like you can get, still be attracted, but it's like I get I'm, what you're I'm saying. actually very nervous to. And you know, Demi was talking about her um image as well. Like she she like obviously she's worked a lot on it now, but she was saying that she used to be like quite insecure and stuff. So it might have even just been a thing of like, yeah, like he's on it, but like maybe she wasn't because she's like still a bit nervous about because at the end of the day, he's still a stranger. Do you know what I mean? Like they know each other because they've been speaking like their voices and stuff. But then when you're like you know, you've seen so many times when people have had the reveal. They try it like connecting the face with the voice. It like takes a while. No, I get, I get exactly what you're saying. But I think if we go back to what we were originally saying in mm. terms of Ollie and Demi, I definitely think that there was just some. That it felt like there was some sort of disconnect mm. that Ollie had with Demi, and I don't know whether it's because he didn't find her attractive or he did. I just feel like he just. He, it just wasn't, there just wasn't some, there was something missing compared to yeah. all of the, I think it's also when we're looking at all of the other couples as well. And I, I know it's not good to judge and be. But it's in, good to, in this environment, we have to compare. We have to compare. Because, because, yeah, it's an unusual. What, it's an unusual situation. Yeah. So we're inclined to um, yeah. compare the couples to each other. It just seemed like there was just some sort of disconnect. And when <clears> also Ollie was talking to... When Ollie was talking to Catherine in the pods as well, he would be making comments like her going out to all these different types of places and stuff like that. When they started naming those type of places, in your mind, you're kind of thinking, oh, okay, so I know what, I know what like. kind of... like." No, Wait, explain that, like, that to me. What what places so, was it? So, like, she, she mentioned, like, sexy fish, like, going oh. out, going to all these... Oh, like, tape. Tape, tape, tape or something yeah. like... They, they, I can't remember what they did, but they were mentioning mm. places that mm. we know that are in yeah. Mayfair. Yeah. And he gave off the impression that, oh, he doesn't want a girl like that goes, like, out, that like that. goes out to that. In my mind, I'm thinking, oh, you don't want a girl that goes out to those kind of places because you've been in those environments and seen girls like that. And you know, with, I think um, there was a clip on the receipts as well. Like, I think it was the receipts like, Guys like to do this thing where they don't want to be with the bad bitch that they want. They want to be doing, oh, I want someone for their personality. Mm. I want someone and like when you this. Get it, and then when you get it, you're complaining that, you're you're complaining not that then you're not attracted. So in my mind, when they, when he said that about, oh, the type of girls that Catherine, the type of girl that Catherine is, like, mm. he doesn't want. In my head, I'm thinking, oh, it's because those are the type of girls that you normally go for. Mm. So in my mind, I'm thinking those are the type of girls that you're attracted to. Mm. But because you don't want to have someone like that and have someone that goes to these type of places because you know the type of girls mm. and you've dealt with them before, mm. you're settling or you want to try something different mm. because of the type of person you want to bring home to your to your parents or bring mm. home to your family. Mm. So in my mind, that's why I was kind of like, hmm. I don't oh, really but I, I, I didn't really think, really think, think about it like you that. You know what? I, t- I took a bit differently because I I feel like it's actually personality based. And unfortunately there is a mm. like weird there's a, a connotation that girls are some girls are like super pretty or super, like like very much care care about um, appearances and go to those places actually don't have a personality to carry on a conversation so you need to banter with don't take it easy like they're mm-hmm. too much focused on the outside world and not actually caring about like Mm-hmm. Just building connections with people, which is why I feel like some guys say, "Oh, I don't want to go with a girl like that." Not because of, "Oh, you go to those places and you act up," but it's more because those type of girls. No, that, I, that, 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 that I don't really get. I don't build um a proper that's, that's relationship that, or connection with them. That's what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. saying that the but it's, not, it's, the it's, not, it's vibe, not looks wise. It's not no, but I, with looks. It's, but I think it's the I think it's the whole package. I think it's the looks because people know that when you thinking about when you think about a certain type of. I'm not even trying to be like. Mm. When you think about a certain type of certain type of girls or mm. go that go to these clubs, they're mm. the ones that don't get turned down on the door. Mm. They're the ones that you know go to the spaces. Yeah. They of look way. a certain type of way and they have a certain type of personality. That's what I was gonna say. So though, that that's like... why I was saying that in my eyes, it was like Ollie already knows the type of. That's why he kind of shut down Catherine already because mm. he was getting that he was getting that vibe from her mm. and he wasn't getting that vibe from Demi. Mm. But at the same time. As lo- and Charlotte is very attractive, mm. but I'm telling you, if she was standing outside tape, they would let her in. Mm. Compared to if someone else, if mm. a, com- someone completely opposite, mm. they wouldn't. They probably wouldn't let that person mm. in. Mm. So the fact that he's now ended up with someone 
That but looks... just explain to me again, sorry, because maybe I didn't watch the reunion. I don't know all the ins and outs. So this yeah. Charlotte babe that is a girl that he calls sublime, right? Yeah, he's saying that talking. he better, but he said he formed a connection with her in the pods, but he just didn't really. What did he no, say? What the reason so, was? He did. He so did. I was going to say shout out oh, to Jesse Wu because she in, she uh, interviewed, interviewed she Ollie, mm. and so we found out through that interview that actually he got up to the same point with Demi, yeah. and he actually then. Like let Charlotte go for Demi, but we don't see any of that on screen. So the mm. same, the connection that he actually formed with Demi, he also formed with Charlotte and was mm. kind of battling in his head, like mm. who what, to yeah. who mm. to choose. Mm. Um, but obviously we don't see that. So I think that that's why Aaron was asking him, like, what do you think about Charlotte? Or like, do you know what I mean? Like he was mm. trying to find out because oh. he's like, I obviously know that mm. you guys have had it, but we didn't yeah. see any of that, yeah. which added so much context. Yeah, that we obviously so much content. We obviously yeah. didn't have. Yeah, but oh. what were you gonna but say? I was gonna say as well that. That's why I still feel like he was going based off personality, but he wants a he wants the looks to match. Of course, the personality. Yeah. Most but that's of us why, do. That's, but that's why though it's still personality first, which is why you're like, why do people go on that show and stuff like that? Like I still feel I still personality first, but they for need, him now at this point, as in like it's always been personality for him first. Well, are you saying in this experience or just in life? As in him in the him as she a person means in life, she means and in life. life, but then also reflective of the pod and the fact that him saying that. He had a connection with Charlotte. Like, it's still personality. Guys I actually, personality. what I was going to say is I actually did believe him when he said that, like, if you ask any, because he said this in the reunion, if you ask, like, any of my family or friends, like, to show no, you him. my, like, history of, like, women yeah. I've dated, it's more women that look like Demi as opposed to Catherine. 100%. Because, basically, obviously, I just, I, I we've had this discussion before, but, like, and I know that I obviously don't know her, like, you know. Who, Catherine? But, I just oh, no, really that reunion, She rubs reunion me off didn't the make wrong. her look better I really at all. Worse, Like at you lot were talking about edit Like I just I honestly Like I just I just didn't understand mm. The babe I just didn't really get it Like <laughs> I didn't get it It's giving like I know I'm bad Like do you know what I mean Which yeah. is fine Like we should all have That kind of confidence But like mm. It was more like I know I'm bad And you're not as bad as me Like yeah. that's what, that's it, was what it was giving ah. yeah. But I heard that the person That she's now talking to Apparently also got engaged In the pods But their journey wasn't shown Yeah so she's now With someone that was on, In the pods I, I just say Thomas Yeah but that guy Got engaged on the pods Oh did he Apparently yeah. there were Six engagements That we yeah. didn't see so, yeah, yeah exactly So weird um, That's crazy but interesting what, yeah. You were saying something as well. Oh yeah But you know what's funny Because people were like This is like The fact that Ollie and Charlotte are now in a complicated situation. Like, what do you just, mean like, in a complicated situation? Is that what he said? That's what they said. Yeah, and like, really? I mean, like, yeah he they, was lost for words. Yeah, boy. like yeah. even when they were asking, but he was stuttering. He, he wasn't. Really? You know that um, Stormzy meme. Yeah, he was doing that. Yeah, yeah, he was stuttering. People were like, "Well, this is the perfect case of UK London." Black people talking Because mm. how are you going On this show And coming out In a complicated situation Yeah how can mm. it be complicated How can it be but complicated But Naya When he lost that girl One time He said mm, 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 I one. must mm. collect yes. Do you know what People have been killing me As well They've been saying that But Naya is a trust fund baby <laughs> Have you been seeing that Is they're it actually Because like, of his last name They're like There's nobody With that last name That mm. is not rich And mm. like They were like That's how these Somebody said These guys That will be telling you They're hitchhiking Going from ah, here to there they are- they're Funny. No, but it's facts. They were like, it's facts. Girls, they were like, um, oh, that, oh, what's her name? Uh, what's Nicole. his wife's name? Nicole has not stopped smiling since. Mm. She hasn't. Mm. If you like, because obviously the Stephen and Sabrina, they mm. they, they they split mm. up. Boy. And then you have Bobby and Jasmine. Mm. Together, yeah. If you compare their own reel of what they have been doing yes. in the year. Compared to Benaya and Nicole, who's real? Jasmine's real. Jasmine, to- Jasmine and Bobby. Really? They've had, obviously, they, oh, let's see what you've been getting on. They've been doing stuff at home. Yeah. They've been moving. What's yeah. Benaya doing? What's Benaya doing? They've, they've been on holidays. Yes. Really? Smiling. Oh, we're now in Morocco. Oh, we're now in something. Oh, we're, we're now going in, to Ghana. We're going to Ghana. We're going to Ghana. At the end of the year, we're hoping to see. It. Hey. hey. Yeah, I was yeah. like, nah. People are calling this guy homeless. Yes. Homeless, but money is dead. Yeah. <laughs> what? So nice jokes. Um, but yeah, Sabrina and Steven. Sa- Sabrina was not having she it, boy. She was not having she it, boy. outed it. Outed him. Outed him. This is, but you know what? Like, this is... And then, I don't know if you guys saw, like, they, um, the girls and the guys, they had an interview with Cosmopolitan. Yes, yes, And yes. then, did you see that um, Sabrina said that he invited his ex, ex to, to the, the wedding? wedding. That's a crazy. Going. But then someone also tweeted, right? Like, that's why when you see, like, you guys let me know what you think about this. When you see, like, a guy at a certain age and he's still single, you need mm. to be asking why. And then I went to go and check how old he is. I think he's 37 or, like, mm. he's 37 on the show or something. Mm. Um, 
But yeah, I kind of like get what you mean then because it's just a bit like, I don't understand how... I don't, he was like basically trying to be like, yeah, but you know, I left my job and my income in order to come onto the show. I'm thinking... Wait, what? <laughs> he's a gym owner. Why can't the gym run by... He's not meant to be a gym owner. That's what they that's said. That's what they said in the title. I remember saying something like gym owner. I said, oh, wow, yeah, that's really, really... That's what they gave... That's what he gave them. Oh, God. But yeah, he said he basically had to like... He sacrificed a lot to be on the show, like mm. monetarily and... So, like, how so, did you think he was going to survive after the show? I don't know. She don't said know. that she came down to London seven times. He went up to Belfast twice. She said that I even bought you ironing board because you said you need an iron Rented board. I, out of car. I don't Rent. drink coffee. I bought uh, Nestle. Or yeah. Stop it. Ne- no. she, she bought the whole like no. coffee machine. That she, was like, I, expensive. I, she was like, I, and it's so sad because I see women do this time and time again. And it's like, honestly, I'm so glad that this is documented on TV because you know, like when you try and relate the story to your friends and they're like, yeah, but you know, he like, no, he wasn't given that yeah. when I was dating him. Like yeah. he literally, they she gave, said he, that. He gave like the businessman. He like, gave like perfect match. Yes, like I've yeah. never been so happy. Yeah. And, she, and remember he made a comment, like, especially when like, I think he introduced her to his friends or something. I can't remember what yeah, it was, yeah, but he yeah, gave yeah, up the yeah. vibe of like, I've obviously met someone who's just like me in the entre- entrepreneurial space. Like she was, she's she's about to like do her own thing. But I can't remember what it was. Something like, it basically like that, seemed yeah. like as if he was like more set. He, he was more experienced in entrepreneurial stuff and doing big things and no, she was about no. to jump and take the When lead. they came onto the, onto the reunion, he even said like, yeah, obviously she started her business and it's booming. And like, obviously mine was still like kind of just, ah, I said, wow. But yeah, anyway, what I wanted to even say is like, I'm so glad this is documented because you can see like why she would have been so confused because yeah. she said that like, he's not a texter. He also doesn't like being on the phone unless there's an actual reason for it. So like, mm. it's like, oh, where are you? Like, are you coming? Like, do you know what I mean? Not just mm. general chit chat, right? So it's like, if you remove, the, if you if you take into consideration, he doesn't like texting. He doesn't like being on the phone unless there's a reason. And then we also live in different parts of the country. Mm. It's like, unless you're making an effort to come and see me, how are we going to speak? And she was basically like, Communication after the wedding was just nil, pretty much. Um, and then he was like, Yeah, but you know how it is? Like, that isn't real life. Like, on the show, it's not real life. Like, everything's paid for. You don't have to worry about, like, um, where you're going to go for dates. Mm-hmm. Da, 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 da. Like, and I just thought to myself, See, this is why you need to be so upfront and honest about your situation in the beginning, because then at least you wouldn't have had high expectations of, like, how it's going to be, like, going mm-hmm. into the marriage. And I just thought that, like, she said, he didn't make any sacrifices or like any room yeah, he for didn't, me he didn't, in the relationship. Yeah, he basically didn't allow... There wasn't... But she basically said there wasn't any room for her in yeah. his life, yeah. basically. Mm. Like, she did she was all making all the stuff. sacrifices. She was making all the sacrifices. She would come up to London. Mm. He didn't go up to, what is it, Belfast. Belfast. Mm. She rented him a car because he said that he didn't have a car. She When he yeah. rented him a car, did all this stuff. Did she not say gym membership? Something gym like membership? But my name's like a gym owner. Said something like... This. I don't even know what she was know. saying a whole lot of stuff. She was she pissed was just, off. Yeah, her. you could tell. But apparently she was even in TikTok comments replying. Yeah, and apparently stuff. she was. Like she was not impressed, happy at all. That's sad. Um, and I like obviously it's sad, but like at the same time, like I just I I get it, man. Mm. Like I get it because yeah. Yeah, man. I just oh, so scary. I was so confused when they were sitting on opposite sides of the Yeah, thing. when they came out, I was like, what's I, going I was on? What's going here? on here? Yeah. yeah. Sad. Sad, sad, That's sad. my hot gist for this week. It as well But anyway guys Hope you guys enjoyed this episode Make sure you guys Do the damn thing By following us And hitting that subscribe yes. button Guys we're on the road to 100k So please make sure you guys Hit the subscribe button If you're watching on YouTube And if you guys are listening On audio Make sure you guys hit follow So you guys can be notified Whenever we drop an episode Leave reviews guys as well I know you guys have slowed down On the reviews and comments So make sure you guys Keep on doing that Every single Review and comment counts And we always listen to them And watch them So please make sure That you guys drop them And yeah obviously Episode 199 We're getting that 200 soon baby yes. Make sure you guys stay tuned And we'll see you guys In our next oh, one Oh sorry before oh. we say goodbye um, also, guys, if you want extra exclusive content, yeah. please make sure that you're subscribed to Patreon. It's just three pounds ninety nine. Um, so yeah, follow us on there because we we have like a good old time. We in the chair, we talking to people in the lounge. So yeah, make sure you follow us on there as well, or subscribe, whatever the correct terminology is. Okay, bye.